Have you got a big Black people are so cool. Look, I'm tan like you. Oh, I love Stormzy too. Tell man shut up. Tell man <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh, quickly. <laughs> oh man. Do you have a big Are you hung? They will just yeah. message, no hello. Are you hung? How big's your Can I suck your I mean, what do you say to that? You really? say yes. It's a stereotype that helps. I'm, I'm going to be honest. A very big muscular man with the yeah. gigantic penis. <sighs> but I think the reality for, for a lot of men when it comes down to it, it's a lot of pressure. Have you got any weed? <laughs> no, I get asked this all the time. You think I have weed because I'm black, but no, I don't. Where's the herb, bro? Where's the herb? Do you know what? The I holy would, herb. <laughs> I would not know. I get it a lot, actually. I think because of the hair. You're Jamaican. You must smoke weed. You're black. You must smoke weed. You have long hair. You must smoke weed. It's very offensive, you know, because it's like instantly, it's not just a general question you're being asked. It's like, just because you're black, it's instantly, you have to be involved in criminal activity. Black people are just seen to be thugs. They're seen to have weed. They seem to be drugs. I've been asked them, M. MDE, whatever that I'm, dog I'm, is I'm called. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cocaine. Someone asked me if I had Charles. I said, who's that? We're just doing a routine stop and search. Oh my God, this happened to me in Barking. Okay, how about you? I've had this. Hey. Oh, mm. yeah, same. Have you been stopped and searched? Yes. Me. <laughs> Damn it, you. What's the one I always get said? You fit the description. the description of someone we're looking for. If a black male enters a space, even, even if it's the street. You can feel the tension because it's like they automatically feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? They might feel the need to grab their purse or pull their child in and like, I don't, under, I don't understand why. And it's especially when you're in numbers. When you're in numbers, instantly you're, you're instantly a threat. You're, you're a gang. What? You're, <laughs> gang. you're basically <laughs> a gang. You could be a steel pan band. Yeah. Not today, boy, you are a gang. <laughs> oh, I like Stormzy too. It's like saying Stormzy is the like UK black representative for yeah, all he's of the certified on all our playlists. Obviously Stormzy, I don't know who Stormzy is, but sometimes they'll say some any rapper, I'm just like, don't, don't know. You just don't listen to But I don't listen to that music. Yeah. I listen to all kinds of music. I love Bollywood songs, yeah, I'm obsessed. Josh Dukovic. Yeah, I said it. I bet you wouldn't know that I listen to smooth jazz. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the N word. I mean, I've had people come up to me before and genuinely in their innocence, yo, what's up, man? <laughs> and I've been like, stop. And he was like, oh, but it's like, it's like brother, isn't it? Mm. No, it's not, not to me. I use it as a term of endearment. Mm. And who do you use it to? To my black friends. I think whether you're black or white, you shouldn't use it. This word was created to dehumanise black people. It's just horrible, especially when it just comes out of nowhere. And it's that humiliation and embarrassment in front of everyone when it's said so openly. Go back to your country, you f***. Oi, blood, what go on? Hey! I left my glasses and I'll be like, Yo, oh, my, my blood, the government f***. <laughs> 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 my blood. This is me. <laughs> Yo, what I got on that? <laughs> it's so funny. I'm so funny. I don't know you, but I'm funny. Yeah. I don't even, like, I don't even say that. Who says that? Be like, oh, hey, blood. Yo, what are you saying? They always put up that sort of upper tone ways. That's literally how half my friends yeah. speak. I don't talk like that. I don't even understand that terminology. Oh, I'd love to go to Africa. A lot of people generally think Africa is a country. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even joking. I've seen this stuff on social media. Not every black person is from Africa. Black people is everywhere. Barbados, Nigeria, North America, Jamaica, Ghana, South America, a lot like Brazil, Trinidad, Sierra Leone, Dominica. Have you got, oh, how did you get here? Yes. I've got that before. Yes, the how five. Get here? It goes to New Am General, actually. <laughs> Just walk there. It's in East London. I bet you love fried chicken. Hey. Well, we all love some chicken now, don't we? <laughs> and I was like, I hate fried chicken. And the whole class was like, oh. Why does it have to be fried chicken? Why can't it be something like egg? I like a bit of fish, to be honest. Mm. My mom made the best fish, by the way, just remember that. 
Oh, you yeah, but your breath stinks after you eat. <laughs> it's okay. Breath. Let it stink. <laughs> you're so urban. You are black. <laughs> it's like, you're urban. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's all types of black men. So not every black man has to live up to exactly. what the society created as that urban exactly. behaviour. It's like, as a black man, you're not allowed to address your issues. Like, how often do you feel that you can talk to someone or like talk to your family members? Like you're kind of just taught to deal with whatever issues you're going through. I'm so happy that I was able to be a black man mm -hmm. because I'm able to go against those stereotypes that were out there. A black guys can't be flamboyant, black guys can't be expressive, black guys can't be theatrical. Yo, shout out my people, everybody, <laughs> I love y'all. But like, being black is actually so fun, like you should try it sometime. <laughs>